Hi friends, it's we're, today we're going to cover our phonics for our new story, Helen Keller. Okay, so our phonics, before we cover our phonics, of course, we're going to cover our high frequency words. So we have front, hair, sky, started, all, food, never, party, stories, warm. Okay, so remember these high frequency words are called high frequency because you see them often. So you want to be able to recognize them really quickly. So practicing these words is really important. So you can put them on flashcards, practice reading them really quickly so that you can recognize them when they're in context. That means when they're in actual sentences or stories. Okay, so our phonics for today is all about the long O. Okay, so that O saying its name like O oh, and our phonics trigger is the woman who's scared. She's like, oh, Oh, so she's saying O, oh, and we're talking about the different ways that you can make that sound. So similar to how we have the long E, it could also be E E or E A. Long O has some other things as well. Now, of course, we just have the letter O itself, ocean, ocean, and in gold, old. Okay, but you also have move that out of the way. You also have when you have um, a long O sound, when you have O A. So down there where it says road, R O A D, the O and the A work together to just make that O sound. Road. Okay. And O W can make that O sound also. So in that case, it's a bow. So still hearing that B O, they work together to just make that single sound. Okay. So let's practice with some words like that. All right, so we have t, o, remember, because that o and the a work together to make that sound, so it's just o, so t, o, st, t, o, st, toast, right? Okay, you don't really hear that a because it works together with that o to make it a long sound, long o sound, okay? So you don't, you want to be able to recognize that so that you know not to read that a as a separate sound, okay? Let's try another one. Old, old, fold, right? And this is helpful if you already know the word old, okay? And you can just add that different sound at the beginning. So fold, told, bold, mold, all of these words work under that same family. All right, k, er, o. Just remember that O and W work together to make that O sound, so k, er, o. Crow. All right, this one that's at the beginning, but again, still just making that long O sound with that O and A. Oak. 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 Like an oak tree. All right, try this one. So you have ul, o, f, ul, o, f loaf, loaf, like a loaf of bread. Now this one is a review from our previous phonics. So remember that A-Y works together to make that long A sound. So you have M-A-B-E, M-A-B, maybe, and this is one of the rare occurrences of a Y being in the middle, because remember, usually it's in the end, and the reason it's kind of an exception is because it kind of comes from the root word may, which would be, um, have the A-Y on the end as well. All right, this one's reviewing from last week, that long E, P, E, Ch, is, so lots of chunks in this one, because we have our E-A making that long E, we have our Ch, our vowel, di or our digraph of C-H, Ch, and then our is, peach is, p each is, peaches. That is in the end makes it plural. All right, b o t ing. Remember the ing is our ing, one of our endings for our base words. B o t ing, boating. Try this one. So where that A and that I make that long A sound, a cool guy A. So s A A -ls. sails like a boat sails or has sails. 
All right, this is the color word. You should know this one. The two L's work together to just make that O sound. So Y, E, O, O. And then we have our O, W at the end, making a long yo. <laughs> o, so it's yellow. All right, this one, our long O is in the beginning. That O, W makes that O sound. O, N, er. And remember that E, R makes that er. O, N, er. Owner. Like, are you the owner of that toy? Are you the owner of that bike? O -ch -k -o -ch coach, right? We have our k, our hard C here, our O A making an O, long O, and our C H. -ch. All right, again reviewing our long A. A for A, d a for aid, afraid. It's a little trickier. O st. So this is just an example of an O being a long O by itself. So this is most. Like, do you have most of your homework done? Most. All right, and this one. Er each d. Er eached. Reached. Reached. Like I reached for the stars. All right, so now let's practice. So as always, I want you to pause this screen, practice reading these words to yourself, thinking about is it gonna be long O, long E, long A, why is it that, that kind of thing? So pause that. All right, now that you've practiced those, I want you to practice these two sentences with the words in context. That means how they would be used, not just as a list, but how they are being used in writing. All right? So remember that O-A makes that long O sound and that O-W. So those are going to be our focuses for the week. You'll see it in your spelling words and different activities. So really practicing that sound. All right, friends, have a great rest of your day.